everybody, it's Jet Central coming back with another video, and in this one, I wanted to address a certain rumor that's really been swirling around social media for the past few days, two, three days, involving the New York Jets, okay? Um, rumor has it, multiple teams out there, the consensus belief is that the New York Jets are going to be selecting Josh Allen, the outside linebacker from Kentucky, with the third overall pick come draft time. And uh, let's be honest for a second, this isn't groundbreaking, a groundbreaking story, okay? Not in the least, it's not shocking. We've seen, we know what Josh Allen is bringing to the table. His his overall pass rushing abilities, his bend, his burst off the edge, uh, his ability to beat tackles, his overall production and dominance in the SEC, tackles for law. I mean, he has t tons of positives, right? Leadership, he's a great kid. He doesn't have a lot of red flags off the field, uh, if any at all. Um, I mean, he's, I mean, he has a size as well, horizontal quickness, smart player, you know, extremely high defensive IQ. This guy has a ton of, to work with a ton of positives and when i look at the new york jets especially at that position outside linebacker uh and with the uh with with the news that the jets are going to be uh, keeping the 3-4 system in place this move makes a ton of sense and so i'm looking at this rumor and yes we do have to take it with a grain of salt because this is smoke screen season Whenever you kind of shift from free agency to the draft, that late March, early April, mid-April, there's tons of you know uh, of false reports, um, tons of you know fake rumors and whatnot uh, that's that's always being swirling around. So we do have to pump the brakes and understand that this could be false, right? This could just be a false. Uh, report all these rumors are could just be fake. Uh, I mean, for example, like the New York Giants. I think it was like a week ago. Uh, ESPN reported that the Giants haven't done any work on Dwayne Haskins at all, and they're just they they're not in love with Haskins. And I think it was the next day Matt Miller of uh, Bleacher Report uh, confirmed that or reported that um, the Giants were in love with Haskins and they were trying to do so much work on Haskins. They took him out to dinner and they're just trying to figure out everything about him. So you always have conflicting reports here. And like I said before, we have to take it with a grain of salt. But I really do believe just, I mean, there's so many dots, con uh, you know, connected dots here as far as team need, uh, you know, the leadership, the production, the inability to get after the passer for the New York Jets. So it does make a lot of sense. I really do believe that there is some truth, there is some validity to this report that Josh Allen to the New York Jets could be a very, very uh, real thing, okay? They actually met with him at his pro day, uh, which was, I believe, two days ago. So really, really intriguing stuff, okay? So, you know, when I'm looking at Josh Allen, this guy could very well be a New York Jet. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section if you guys would love Allen to the Jets, all right? And it's it's actually kind of ironic, too, because Allen, you know, same name as the uh, uh, second-year quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, and, you know, I've seen some jokes on Twitter like, oh, what if Josh Allen sacks Josh Allen? It's just weird and stuff like that. But all in all, I really do like Allen as a prospect. Now, I will say... I will say this, that the Jets are in a really interesting conundrum, if you will, because the Jets, uh, or the Arizona Cardinals rather, have the first pick. And they picked a quarterback last year, Josh Rosen, but oddly enough, they might pick quarterback again. And if I'm the New York Jets, I could be sitting there saying to them, uh, they could be sitting there saying to themselves, the Cardinals are going to be taking a quarterback, pushing everybody down a slot. So the Jets, there's a very, very real chance that the Jets could get the best player in this draft, the second best player in the draft, at pick number three. Do the Jets want to pass up that opportunity by just closing the book and just picking Josh Allen? Because there's two prospects right now ranked ahead of Allen. Uh, my personal opinion, I think Quinn Williams is the best player in this draft. I think pairing him up next to Leonard Williams would be a complete nightmare for teams inside the AFC East, teams that you know that, that you know opposing offenses to try to guard Quinn and Williams and Leonard Williams on the inside or at the interior of the defensive line, it would just be a complete nightmare. They're, they'd wreak havoc. Williams has a tre tremendous power, tremendous speed uh, from that interior of the defensive line. Uh, a lot of production. I mean, this guy's a complete absolute force, right? Great in the run game, can get after the passer from the interior. He's the full package, and he's so young too. And that's what that's what I love about Quinnen uh, is that he's so young. He is so his ceiling is just so high. Um, it's really fun to watch and really fun to think about when, when you're you know fantasizing about what Quinnen can do uh, at the next level in maybe three four years because uh, this guy can dominate the league. And he could very well be the pick. I've actually uh, spoken to a few, uh, you know, uh, trainers, right, that work with NFL players in the offseason, work with uh, NFL draftees. And then everything I've heard right now is, you know, everybody's telling me specifically um, that Quinn Williams is a, con he's a, con 
you can't miss on this guy. He's going to be a star at the next level. And the teams that do pass on Quinn Williams are going to be regretting it. All right. He is that good. So really interesting stuff. And then the other prospect too is uh, Nick Bosa, Nicholas Bosa, the, the little brother of Joey Bosa. Um, this guy has a ton of power, a ton of speed, really fits that mold as a traditional 4-3 edge rusher. I th- but I also do think he has um, uh, he has the strength to play the five technique in the three four, or you could kind of stand him up and play that outside linebacker position. I think he can do that. I think he is strong enough, and he and he has the instincts to do it. But it's not a hundred percent right. That that's just that's just my opinion. I I think he can, but do you really want to use the third pick in the draft on a guy? That might not be the best system fit. Okay, so when you're looking at uh, just you know when you're when you're going down the list of checking boxes, Allen makes the most sense uh, compared to Bosa because Allen has gotten after the passer in the best conference in in, in college football in in the SEC. I think he had I think he had 17 sacks last season and he had uh, over 20 tackles for loss. That's insane. Absolutely insane. He has the leadership. He he has position of need. Uh, you know. Allen checks the most boxes, okay, for the Jets. So it's going to be an interesting, interesting decision come draft night. Do we go Allen? Do we go Bosa? Do we go Williams? Uh, if any of these guys are even there. I mean, who knows what the 49ers do at spot number two. There's a lot of speculation right now. Um, and quick little heads up, I'm actually going to be addressing this point in the mock draft as well. But are the 49ers really going to go out and, and draft Bosa? Because they just drafted Solomon Thomas. They, they have to force Buckner. They just traded. They gave away an asset to go sign uh, D Ford, and they signed him to a mega deal. So you're and, and, and John Lynch actually said that he believes D Ford could be a great 4-3 edge rusher because uh, he did that at, at, uh, at Auburn. I mean, are the 49ers going to pass up Nick Bosa? So th- there's a lot of question marks surrounding this draft right now. A lot of haze, a lot of, uh, you know, uncertainty. So it's going to be a fun, fun uh, couple, you know, next few weeks uh, trying to trying to keep up with all these rumors and whatnot. And uh, like I said before, I cannot wait to see what you guys have to say uh, say down below in the comment section. Um, it, it's going to be fun. So uh, if you're, you know, Jets fans out there, if you are on the clock at, at pick number three who do you want and why um and also josh allen to the jets would you like it would you hate it uh and then of course why so um let me know your thoughts and as always thanks so much for watching go jets